Hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about celebrities who died in 2023. I'm going to briefly explain to you what caused their sudden deaths. So sit down grab a popcorn relax and enjoy the video. Number 1. Matthew Perry. He was a Canadian American actor, producer, and writer, born on 19th of August 1969, in Williamstown, USA. Perry's breakthrough came with his role as Chandler Bing on the 1994-2004 TV series, Friends. His portrayal of Chandler, contributed significantly to the show's success. He continued his acting career with roles in television series, such as Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, and The Odd Couple. He has also been involved in numerous film and stage projects. Perry has also been open about his battles with substance abuse, including struggles with alcohol and prescription drugs. He has undergone multiple stints in rehab, and has used his experiences to raise awareness about addiction. Sadly, on 28th of October 2023, Perry was found unresponsive in his hot tub, and was pronounced dead at 4.17 pm that day. He passed away at the age of 54, and the cause of his death has yet to be determined. Perry's funeral was held at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles. Number 2. Lisa Marie Presley Lisa Marie Presley was an American singer, songwriter, and the only child of the legendary musician, Elvis Presley, and the actress, Priscilla Presley. She was born on 1st of February 1968, in Memphis, Tennessee, USA. Lisa Marie Presley is known for her songwriting skills, and has been involved in crafting her own music. Her songs often reflect personal experiences and emotions. She has been married multiple times. Her first marriage was to the musician, Danny Keough, with whom she has two children, Riley Keough and Benjamin Keough. Lisa Marie was also briefly married to the op icon Michael Jackson, and actor Nicolas Cage. Presley has faced personal challenges, including struggles with substance abuse. She has been open about her journey to overcome addiction and has sought treatment. On 12th of January 2023, at around 10.30 a.m., Presley suffered a cardiac arrest at her home in Calabasas, California. Her heart was restarted after CPR was administered en route to West Hills Hospital in Los Angeles, but she died later that day at the age of 54. According to her autopsy report, Presley died of small bowel obstruction, caused by a bariatric surgery she had undergone. Hundreds of people attended Presley's public memorial service that was held at Graceland, on 22nd January, and more than 1.5 million people watched the service via live stream. Presley was interred in the Graceland Meditation Garden, next to her son Benjamin, and adjacent to her father Elvis. Number 3. Jim Brown. He was a former American football player, actor, and social activist, born on 17th of February 1936. Jim Brown played his entire professional football career for the Cleveland Browns in the NFL. He was a running back, and played from 1957 to 1965. During his career, Brown was known for his exceptional athleticism, power, and speed. He led the league in rushing yards eight times, and was a nine-time Pro Bowl selection. His impact on the game is reflected in numerous records and achievements. He retired as the all-time leading rusher in NFL history, and still holds the record for the highest average yards per carry in a single season. After leaving football, Jim Brown transitioned to a successful career in acting. He appeared in numerous films, including The Dirty Dozen, 1967, Ice Station Zebra, 1968, and 100 Rifles, 1969. His contributions to football and society have been widely recognized, and his impact on and off the field continues to be celebrated. Sadly, Jim Brown died of natural causes at the age of 87, on 18th of May 2023, at his home in Los Angeles. He died with his wife by his side. Number 4. Raquel Welch. She was an American actress and model, born on 15th of September 1940, in Chicago, Illinois. Welch gained widespread recognition and fame for her role in the film, One Million Years B.C., 1966, in which she appeared in an iconic fur bikini. This role established her as a sex symbol, and helped propel her career in the entertainment industry. In addition to her acting career, Raquel Welch became known as a fitness icon. She released a series of fitness videos in the 1980s, 
contributing to the popularity of at-home workout programs. She received several awards and nominations throughout her career, including a Golden Globe Award for her performance in The Three Musketeers. Raquel Welch is a mother of two children, Damon and Tani Welch. Her daughter, Tani, followed in her footsteps and pursued a career in acting. In 2010, Welch released her autobiography, titled, Raquel, Beyond the Cleavage, where she discussed her life, career, and experiences in Hollywood. Sadly, Welch died from cardiac arrest, on 15th of February 2023, at her home in Los Angeles. She was 82 at the time of her death. It was reported, that Welch was also suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Number 5. Paul Rubens. He was an American actor, comedian, writer, and producer, born on 27th of August 1952. Rubens created the character, Pee Wee Herman, in the late 1970s, and it became his signature role. Pee Wee is a childlike humorous character, known for his distinctive laugh and red bow tie outfit. The character gained widespread popularity through stage shows, TV specials, and the television series, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Pee Wee's Playhouse was a Saturday morning children's television show, that ran from 1986 to 1990. Rubens won an Emmy Award for Outstanding Achievement in Children's Programming, for his work on the show. After a hiatus following the 1991 incident, Rubens has been involved in diverse projects, including guest appearances on television shows, voice acting, and film roles that highlight his versatility as an actor. Paul Rubens is known for maintaining a relatively private personal life. While he has been more active in recent years, he generally keeps details about his personal life away from the public eye. Rubens died on 30th of July 2023, at the age of 70, from acute hypoxic respiratory failure, at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. At the time of his death, he was diagnosed with both myelogenous leukemia, and metastatic lung cancer. He had been diagnosed six years earlier, but had not revealed his diagnosis to the public. Number 6. Tina Turner. Tina Turner was a singer, songwriter, and actress, born on 26th of November 1939, in Nutbush, Tennessee. She began her music career in the late 1950s, as a featured singer with Ike Turner's Kings of Rhythm. Ike and Tina Turner gained widespread recognition with their dynamic and energetic performances, as the Ike and Tina Turner Review. They had hit songs like, Proud Mary and River Deep, Mountain High. Tina Turner's solo career took off, after her tumultuous marriage to Ike Turner, ended in the mid-1970s. She released the album, Private Dancer in 1984, which included hits like, What's Love Got To Do With It? Better Be Good To Me, and Private Dancer. In addition to her music career, Tina Turner has appeared in several films. Notably, she played the role of Auntie Entity, in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, 1985, alongside Mel Gibson. Tina Turner is the recipient of numerous awards, including multiple Grammy Awards. Her achievements in the music industry have solidified her status as one of the greatest and most influential artists. On 24th of May 2023, Turner died at her home in Kusnock, Switzerland, at the age of 83, following years of illness. Number 7. Bob Barker. He was an American media personality and animal rights advocate, born on 12th of December 1923, in Darrington, Washington. Barker served in the United States Navy during World War II, as a fighter pilot. After the war, Barker began his career in broadcasting. He worked in various radio and television jobs, including hosting a local radio show in California. Bob Barker's breakthrough came in 1956, when he became the host of the game show, Truth or Consequences. He hosted the show for 18 years until 1974. He is perhaps best known for hosting The Price is Right, a daytime television game show, where contestants guess the prices of various products to win prizes. He hosted the show from 1972 to 2007, becoming an iconic figure associated with the program. Barker received numerous awards throughout his career, including multiple daytime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Game Show Host. In 2007, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award. Barker died at his home in Los Angeles on 26th of August 2023, at the age of 99, following several years with Alzheimer's disease, a condition that Burnett and Barker's publicity team had kept hidden from the public. 
hypertension, hyperlipidemia and hypothyroidism, were listed as secondary causes of death. He was buried alongside his wife, at Forest Lawn Memorial Park. Number 8. David Crosby. He was an American singer, songwriter, and guitarist, born on 14th of August 1941, in Los Angeles, California. Crosby was a founding member of the folk rock band, The Birds. He played a key role in the band's early success, co-writing some of their most well-known songs. Crosby is known for his distinctive voice and songwriting contributions. His solo album, If I Could Only Remember My Name, 1971, is regarded as a cult classic. He faced legal troubles in the 1980s, including drug-related issues that led to his imprisonment. He was open about his struggles with substance abuse and subsequent recovery. Crosby was involved in high-profile relationships and friendships within the music industry. However, his relationships with former bandmates have at times been strained, leading to periods of estrangement. Crosby died in Santa Ynez, California, on 18th of January 2023, at the age of 81. Believing he was probably going to die fairly soon, Crosby had planned his funeral at least three years prior to his death, to be held at his horse ranch in Santa Ynez, in hopes that he would be reconciled with his former birds and CSN bandmates, so that they would attend. A statement from his family said that he died after a long illness. Number 9. Suzanne Summers. She was an American actress, author, and businesswoman, born on 16th of October 1946, in San Bruno, California. Suzanne gained widespread fame for her role as Chrissy Snow, on the sitcom, Three's Company, which aired from 1977 to 1981. Her portrayal of Chrissy made her a popular figure in the entertainment industry. Summer's departure from Three's Company, was marked by contract disputes with the producers. She was essentially fired from the show, after demanding a significant pay increase. Her character was written out, and she was replaced by the actress, Priscilla Barnes. In addition to her entertainment career, Summers has been involved in various business ventures. She created the Thigh Master, an exercise device, which became highly popular in the 1990s. Suzanne Summers was married to the producer, Alan Hamill, since 1977. They have two children, a son named Bruce, and a daughter named Leslie. She had hyperplasia in her 20s and skin cancer in her 30s. In April 2000, Summers was diagnosed with breast cancer, and underwent a lumpectomy to remove the cancer, followed by radiation therapy. In 2018, it was reported that she underwent an experimental stem cell therapy, to regrow the breast she lost to cancer. In 2020, Summers fractured her hip, when she jumped out of a private tram to her house. Her breast cancer had returned earlier in the year, and on 15th of October 2023, she died at her home in Palm Springs, California, one day before her 77th birthday. Her funeral was held three days later, with her interment at Desert Memorial Park. Number 10. Jimmy Buffett. He was an American singer, songwriter, musician, author, and businessman, born on 25th of December 1946, in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Jimmy Buffett began his music career in the late 1960s, playing in various bands and developing his unique style, that blends elements of country, folk, rock, golf, and western music. He gained widespread popularity for his easygoing and beach-inspired tunes. Aside from his music and writing, Buffett was involved in various business ventures. This includes his restaurant chain, the Margaritaville brand, and partnerships in the alcoholic beverage industry. Buffett died on 1st of September 2023, at the age of 76, at his home in Sag Harbor, New York, due to complications from Merkel cell carcinoma, a rare and aggressive skin cancer, with which he had been diagnosed four years earlier. Prior to his death, he had kept his illness private and continued to tour while undergoing treatment. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my content. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel and share the video.